Hello everyone, I welcome you to the 10th episode of the Quick Civil Series for Beginners. Um, in the last episode, I showed you how you can create a title block like this. And then in this video, I will be showing you how you can check your analysis results for a beam particularly. All right. So um, I will go to the view tab and then I will change this active view. I will just um, change it to the floor modeling view. So I can take me to the, you know, the floor modeling and then I can select the beam. I want to check the analysis. Of course, we've run the analysis. We've done the design. We've done the loading and everything. So um, let me just select a particular beam. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see this beam. Okay. It's a beam of three spans. So I've selected the beam. And then right now, I'll just right click and then just click on beam properties. Okay. So um, what's the name of the beam? I think it could be best done like this. So that's beam 14. So um, kindly click on beam 14 over here. So clicking on beam 14, then you can click on view selected beam in sketchpad. So you check that beam in sketchpad. And then you can close this. Now, this is um, where you can see it. You can see that beam. Okay, you can see it is um, having three spans. So this is one support, this is another support, this is another support, this is another support. And then you can see the loading on top of it. Then you will see how the analysis is done. Okay, it basically uses the moment distribution method of analysis. So you see the DF, which represents the distribution factor. And that is usually equals to one. <coughs> The FE does a fixed end moment. <coughs> then you can see here you have 1.0, 0. 0.0, whatever. When you add this to this, it becomes 1. Then your distribution, so you can see how it's distributing the load. You can see the carryover load and everything like that. Then you can see everything that needs to be done, everything that needs to be seen, like your shear force, your reaction, your maximum moment, and then everything like that. So for load case 2, you know, you have two loading cases. So for the load case 2, the same thing um is here okay so um you have another load case you can see all your analysis how the analysis is being carried out like just as you can do it manually then you can see the um shear force diagram it will also attach the bending moments uh diagram then it will show you the design okay so you can see for span one you can see the deflection has been checked and you can see the area of steel required and the area of steel provided so um that's all you have over there you can see the deflection check and then it also reference the code it's used so that's bs810 part 1 1997 so um this is how you are going to check that i think um that is very easy and that's very fast so this will be the end of the 10th episode in the next episode, I will be showing you how you can model a staircase and how you can automatically design it and prepare the calculation sheet. So watch out for the 11th episode.